Hey everybody! So today's scary story is actually something that I found on Tumblr a very long time ago um, and it's something that's kind of been stuck in the back of my mind that's just kind of, it's, it's a creepy story and not only, well yeah probably only because I do not like mannequins so this is the creepy mannequin lady story in June of 1972, a woman appeared in a hospital in nothing but a blood-covered gown. Now, this wouldn't really be much of a surprise to this particular hospital because people are in accidents all the time, it's in a busy area, so people come in with, you know, cuts and broken arms and blood all the time. Um, but there was something that was different about this particular woman that made people vomit and flee in terror. The first thing that appeared different was that she had sort of a physique and a demeanor of a mannequin, but she had kind of that lifelike quality of a human. The second thing was there appeared to be a kitten in her mouth, <laughs> um, but there was no teeth showing whatsoever to like indicate that she was like biting into a kitten but it was covered in blood all over. She ripped it out of her mouth and threw it aside. She was then taken into a room where she was cleaned up, um, being, being prepped for a sedation, um, but she was very calm, she didn't speak, um, and she was motionless. Um, the doctors thought it'd be best before the authorities showed up that they restrain her just for her own protection. They were unable to get any sort of response from her and most of the staff members were too afraid to look at her for more than a few seconds. The second that the staff tried to sedate her, she immediately fought back with such, like, I mean, odd force that they had two staff members trying to hold her down. She raised up out of the bed, um, but her face was emotionless, um, no expression whatsoever. Then turned her eyes towards the doctor and smiled. As soon as she smiled, one of the staff members freaked out, let go of her, bolted out of the room. The mannequin continue, continues to smile. The doctor that was there that, the, that she was staring at um, stared back at her and asked, what the hell are you? She then cracks her neck, I guess crack, I don't know, bite down to her, her, her neck, her head down to her shoulder, like, like this, and continues to smile. Already been alerted and you can hear them running down the hallway at this time as well. Heard the security approaching, the mannequin lady then bolts out of her bed, jumps up, bites the doctor in the jug, like the neck, the jugular, rips a chunk out falls to the floor, he's gasping for breath, he's flailing about, stood over him as he's sitting there suffering and just watching him die, waiting for the life to just leave him. Leans in closer, right to his ear, and she says, I am God. Eyes fill with fear and just he just watches her calmly walk away to greet the security at the door. Last sight ever was of um, her feasting on the security men. The female staff member that survived, the one who freaked out and bolted out of the room, um, she called her the expressionless. A sighting of her ever again. Ever, um. Some of that story might seem a little bit cheesy. Lots of cheese happening. But a photo was attached to this story. And I have found a couple other shorter versions where it's a little bit um, more condensed. Just like a summary, you know, with the photo. And this info was not in this particular story, but I found it elsewhere where they have this photo. And they described the photo saying this was the only photo that was captured while they were sedating, trying to sedate this mannequin lady. Do you think there's a little too much cheese going on in the story? Or is it kind of creepy? Do you know a different version? Um, other info that pertains to this particular story? Leave a comment down below. I would love to hear it. Um, 
I'm gonna show you the photo at the end of this clip. So enjoy and get a little creeped out because it creeps me out. Just the photo creeps me out. Story, maybe, but uh, the photo is what really creeps me out. So enjoy.